What is good, people, man? So, I got the first Silent Line recreation right here, man. We got Porcupine and his AC Bob Wire, bro. Yo, I'm just gonna say this right now. This build is disgusting. I don't know why it's doing as good as it is, okay? Right? <laughs> but. I don't know, it's just outperforming the Merciless freaking Black Scythe build by a lot. I don't know if it's because the arms and the freaking FCS combination, bro, but it's ridiculous, man. It's shit. You're gonna see it. Watch, watch. When we get to these games, and the practice was disgusting, some practice rounds I did. It's it's crazy. Freaking thing is full danger, which is perfect because this freaking AC is both names focus on freaking spiky, stabby, freaking dangerous, all right? Porcupine and Bobbed Wire, bro, likes freaking stabbing people. And that's exactly what this build does, bro. It's just all over you. You just get tangled up in this build. Freaking Wooger's going ham. Gatling gun. It's, it's ridiculous, bro. The ACS pressure that it puts out is absurd. And then the raw damage it does is crazy, too. Like, against heavyweights, everything, bro. I don't know why it works as good as it does. But it does, and it's a ton of fun, right? So, we'll go ahead and jump into it, man. Full breakdown of the build at the end of the video, as usual, right? I definitely got something to say about the legs, why I chose those legs. So, you know, tune in for that, for sure, if you're curious. But let's go ahead and get started, man. This thing is crazy. All right, I got to run back against this homie over here. He's growing that freaking double shotgun, shield, and laser drone stats. Caught me off guard with the way he was playing, bro. Like, he stays super close around the freaking... uh around this structure over here and then he actually kites a fair amount which surprised me as well because you don't really see that with shotguns a lot of time you know what i mean so i was a little surprised by that but look at the freaking pressure we're putting out already bro don't run from me i got the speed i don't care about your shield get kicked mink got that in there in time beautiful we're about to get stunned we'll pop this let's freaking just gun it down his shield rip through it real quick there you go we got our shield up put the pressure there you go look at the damage output bro disgusting Clean! Go for a nice freaking punch ski. Come on, get him stunned. Get him stunned. Wait for the gallon. Oh, he's running. There's no running, son. Gallon gun's in your back. Come on now. I'm not letting that fall off. Hell no. I'll try and hit you with this freaking punch ski. Don't run from me, bro. Punch. Oh, caught him clean in between the shields. Sit down, son. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm quick enough I can keep up with him. Dude, I snuck that freaking little punch right in there real quick between that shield that was clean all right bro let's see if we could do it again yeah i guess i gotta keep the the woogers in neutral with the gatling guns to get a nice strong lead you know what i mean yeah i'm not gonna let you play around the freaking cover a whole bunch again bro hell no i learned my lesson already he freaking put put it down on me the last match like that get some energy going some gatling guns all right he gets the shield he gets the stun first so he's too far away to punish though he's gonna pop his pole samu Dodge his stuff. We'll hang back. Pop Oz now. Now he's going to try and run. Yeah, he might have enough energy. I don't have enough this time. Now he didn't have enough. He didn't have enough. Keep that. All right, now I got full energy thing, bro. You ain't running this time. Hell no. I'll eat that up all day. Look at the freaking ACS stream, bro. I'm about to get the stun first. If I do, I get a nice punch on him. Let's see how it maneuvers me. No, we get him. Punch. Oh, clean, bro. Nice freaking stab. Arena. All that damage is nasty. Yo, good fight, bro. Hey, he put me down the first time legit, so, you know, kudos to him. Dude, that was sick. All right, what are you working with? Ah, that's what I was hoping for. I saw his AC's name, El Dorado. I'm like, that thing better be gold, bro. It better be super gold, and it is. <laughs> Not bad, bro. I like it. I like it. All right, I didn't even see what weapons he had, bro. I was just happy to see the freaking gold on his AC. All right, he's got a Huxley. Was that shotguns? You got Zinni set up. Oh, we got a nice freaking ACS strain on mail. Time to prepare for a punish. It's coming. He's about to get stunned. Hold this fist real quick. Oh, he has a saw armor. I got to punch him, though. All right. Beautiful. Now we can just gun him down with the shield up. The fact that I got the stun first is huge because now look at this. Look at this damage output. Manga. That's it, man. This weapon setup is disgusting. <laughs> so dumb. So dope. I just have to make absolutely sure that I get the stun first. And I have to keep in mind that he has assault armor too. Because if he gets a stagger off on me, he's going to go for a kick. And I pop pulse armor, bro. That's a wrap for me. All right. Dodge around. All right, there you go. Put a huge bunch of pressure off. Hang back while his freaking shotguns come back. All right, beautiful. Chose the wrong time to shoot. All right, I got to get ready for a punish now. Stay underneath him. Stay close. There you go. Go for a nice punch, Ski. Bink. 
I'm surprised he didn't pop the assault armor there. He just ate it. Okay. Slide in, punch. Bink. God, I'm interrupting him. Not bad. I'll finish you with a punch. Slide in. Bink. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Yo, bro. I like that AC a lot. I like it. I saw the I was expecting gold, and I got gold. GG, my friend. I had fun with that. What are you walking with, bro? What do we got? What do you got? Javelin? Explosive throw? Okay. Is that a shield over there or what? And then freaking the other javelin missiles. Okay. My favorite PvP map, too. Let's go. Let's see, he's got a test set up, huh? All right, bro. Let's see how it does. Let's see how it compares. Oh, all right. We got him. I didn't think I was going to hit him. Okay, beautiful. Get them Gatling gun action to stay up on. To oh, nice kick. Nice kick. Perfectly in line with the freaking javelin. Clean. Go for a nice punch ski. Oh, wow. He got it off in time. Surprise. I thought I had it in time. That's all right. That's all right. Oh, he's booking it. He's dipping. I ain't going to let you kick me, son. Hell no. Stay right in his face. Close range action. Go for a nice freaking punch. Reno. Bink. Bink. That's two. Gatling guns finish him off. Mmm. Not bad. <laughs> Look at that Bob wire, son. Nice and pokey spiky. Porcupine build. All right, that was pretty good for us, Ron. I like that. He got a nice freaking clean kick in there, though, with that uh, that javelin missile, bro. That was, like, beautifully timed. We're going to go salt boost straight in. Put some pressure up nice and early. Hold on a sec. What's he doing? He's cruising? What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Okay, he's got his little streaking shield up. Okay, I'm getting wrecked. Forgot that he has explosive throw. I got to be careful with that. Overheating my freaking Gatlin guns like a scrub. All right, go fap. Oh, nice, 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 nice. All right, surprise punch. Get him. All right, there you go. Oh, he pops at the perfect time. Pop out just so we avoid that kick and whatever freaking damage he puts out. All right, he's bugging it. He's down top of him. That pressure on him. Just stay freaking aggressive. Get out of here. So look, I'm getting tore up. Clean punch. Okay, shield it. Oh, I thought the other freaking thing was off. Cool. That's right. Gun him down. Machine gun and freaking shotgun ski, bro. Gatlin gun city. Not bad. I love how freaking oppressive and just all over you this build feels, man. It's freaking dope. Hey, good fight, brother. Uh oh, double Zemi, uh, Chunky, with what, laser slicer back there? Holy crap. All right, so if I get stunned, it's going to be an instant freaking pulse shield for sure. <laughs> Especially because I'm lightweight, bro. That laser slicer will annihilate me, dude. If I'm too slow with it, I'll lose half my health as the shield's going up. All right, dodged a little bit of shotguns. That's good, but he's freaking assault boosting around. Okay. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, yeah. dodged that other one. That was crucial. We're about to get stunned, though. Pop this immediately. Yep. Hell no. Dude, look at the damage I took even still. I overheat my freaking Woogas, too. That's right. They back up. We're good. Tear through his shield. Dodge his shotguns like a beast. Clean that lightweight action, son. What's good? Tearing him up. As long as we dodge the next volley of shotguns, we're okay, but I have no energy, so that's not going to happen. Stun him. Stun him first. If I can stun him first, we can still win this. Hold on. Hold on. Watch out for that second shotgun. Get him. There you go. Kick him. Ah, uh, he's alive. Hang back. Oh, no. He gets a stun. Oh, bro. No. Look at his health. I almost brought that all the way back, bro. Damn! I should have held those Gatling gun triggers immediately after the kick, dude. Freaking hell, bro. Damn, all right. That's okay. That means this is doable, 100%. All right, bro. Let's go. Watch out. Watch out for the freaking assault boost shotgun hits. Okay. Hang back. Hang back a little bit. Pepper him up. Pepper him up. Let my stuff cool down. Hang back a little bit. Take advantage of I'm lightweight. Pop this now. It's about to get stunned and freaking take crazy damage. All right. He pops his. Rip through his shield, hopefully, pretty quick. Okay, we lost our shield. Gotta manage my energy. Dodge as best I can, bro. There you go. Putting in work. Putting in work. Dodge. Yep. Hang back a little bit while I get my energy. Yeah, he's assault boosting in. Here we go. Here we go. Dodge. All right. We're good. We're good. We can win from here. I'm about to charge up a thing. Punch him. He's coming in too close. Oh, I thought I was charging. Fail. All right. This is fine. Get him now. Get him now. Get him now. Oh, no. He's going to kick me. I'm dead. Oh, he's got punches. No. He's got punch extensions. Not like this, bro. Come on. <laughs> I messed up, bro. I thought I was charging that freaking... Ah, oh, I thought I was charging the freaking Wooger, bro. Hey, GG, brother. Whoa. Super dope paint job, bro. Especially in this lighting. That thing looks clean as hell. Okay. Double LCD, though. That's scary. Because I do have to get close. <laughs> All right. I might not be able to get as many punches in here. I mean, I'm going to try anyway, you know what I'm saying? But we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, bro. Full offense going straight in. Son of that freaking 9k AP means nothing. 
Freaking best defense, a good offense, right? Oh, hold on a second. Hey, yo, bro, you AFK? It was game time. What are we doing? All right, he's here. He's here. Yeah, I'm over here, bro. In case you didn't see me. Yep, there we go. All right, let's go. Let's get it. Oh, went for the sword off the rip. Okay. Damn, an LCD instant freaking stun on. All right, not looking good for me so far. Not the end of the world, though. Go ahead. Punch hole. Hold that real quick. Bink. Got him. Damn, he's already almost dead. He's got tears. Clean. All right. Gun. That's it. I'll take a couple freaking <laughs> little Catlin gun shot. This build puts out so much ACS pressure so fast, bro. Crazy, dude. I was trying to freaking tell, tell that dude to freaking hold the punch for real quick with freaking in the middle of that, but I ended up getting freaking freaking tripping over my worst day. That's pretty much what's happening. All right, punch him. Close enough. There you go. Hold that. Hold one of these two. Nice double punch ski. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, that hurt. That hurt. Sorry, we can use this. He does have TS, right? We'll just use it now. Just gonna, look at this. Look at this. No punch required. Look at the damage output. Ooh, get out of here with that freaking sword, son. Hell yeah, it rained bullets on him. All right, that was pretty freaking fun, bro. That was pretty dope. This build is freaking sick, dude. It's killing it. I don't know why it feels better than the freaking Black Scythe one, but it does. Oh, double S Sujin. All right, got a lightweight battle here, bro. Okay, okay. Farmaza versus Noctria legs. Which is the better lightweight legs? <laughs> Pretty sure it's Noctria, but I like Farmaza. It's pretty dope. Man, I'm... I'm getting addicted to how freaking like super offensive this build is, bro. I was not expecting this amount of freaking, I don't know, like the black side build, right? Freaking, what's his name? Freaking Merciless. Essentially the same setup, but for whatever reason, this one just has like necessary speed to freaking, hold on a second, I'm about to fall to my death. Oh no. Oh no! All right, well, <laughs> I actually just realized there was a spot I could have stand on at the bottom there. That was a fail. <sighs> Sitting there trying to think about something else, not paying attention to my freaking foot in this. That was a bad hit. All right, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> that's all right. We'll, we'll, we'll clean that up. Yeah, anyway, like I was saying, this man stand on the outside now. He, what, you trying to get me to freaking fall? Nah, that was a fluke, bro. It ain't going to happen again, all right? Don't, don't be sitting there thinking this is going to be easy mode for you, all right? Get out of here. All right, nice freaking laser. There you go. All right, punch. Freaking whipped it because you got outside too quick. And the other generator, just because. Close that distance. Yeah, look, I'm tearing them up, bro. Yeah, so what I was trying to say, now that I feel like I'm not in danger of falling, <laughs> is this is essentially the same setup as Merciless, right? Obviously, I did some actual melee weapons on Merciless a little bit, but I guess the freaking, the frame that this is on, is just super more suited towards freaking this setup, dude. Because, I mean, look at it. It's just tearing people up, bro. Every match so far is just ridiculous. Rip through that shield and just gun them down. See ya. I mean, they're lightweights too, right? But I guess, I mean, even in my testing against the heavier ones, it was still freaking putting in work, bro. It's kind of surprising. I don't know what it is about this build. Maybe it's a combination of the arms and stuff too, but yeah, it's kind of clean, bro. I'm liking it. All right, dashing in. Stay close. Okay, all right, there was anti-freaking, this is anti-get-off-me anti attack right there with the laser blade. But look at this, even far away, bro. Don't run from me. Accept it! Accept the stagger real quick! Hell no! Alright, not alright, he popped his freaking pulse. I was about to say we're not close enough for the freaking punch punish, but we got close enough. To where he had to pop his shield. Alright, he's booking it? Hell no, so I got the speed too. Look at this. Bullets in your back. Where, where you going, bro? Hell no! Staying on top of him, bro. What's good? Hell no. Alright, hit me one of those. Alright, never mind. Never mind. Oh, hold on a second. I threw away the first round, so if I die here, it's a wrap. We gotta try and win this. We'll let this fall off since I think I can put out more damage. I don't necessarily need to stagger him at this stage. I just need to freaking. Oh, he fell down. Alright. Catch him on the way up. Yeah, get in that corner, son. Make it easier for me. Yes, sir. Uh... <laughs> this build is so dumb, man. It just gets on top of people and the, the pressure is insane. Yo, good fight, brother. Freaking hell. Ren White's Ren White. Let's see if I can freaking get him this time. He was running quad shotgun last time and he beat me, but now he's got double LCS and Haldman, bro. All right, and he's on super lightweight frame too, bro. Let's see it. I like this. It's going to be a cool matchup. Those freaking LCS is going to freaking annihilate me, dude. He might not even have to stagger me just to kill me with those things alone. I got to make sure I freaking manage my energy well. Watch out for the Haldies. Okay, dodge around. Oh, he caught me with it. How? Okay, oh my god, and the extension. He still had enough time to extend and fall up with LCS again. That's crazy. That's a mean combo, dude. Holy hell. 
Watch out, LCS. All right, we're going to pop this right now before we die. Oh, my God. I thought he freaking hit me before the shield came out. He tanked through his shield all day, son. LCS, watch out. Got no energy. No. If I had energy, bro, I jumped up ahead of time, too. I think I would have dodged that and been fine. Damn, bro. That first initial freaking thing he did in the beginning, that was disgusting. I got staggered. He was still... Kind of close enough to get that shotgun extension. The LCS will back off reload, bro. And he freaking caught me mean with it, bro. That hurt like hell. All right. Dodge round. There you go. All right. Good trade on my favor on that one. Only well, took some residual off the LCS on that. We got to hang back. Take too much damage. Here it comes. I'm about to die. Hold on. We got him. We got him. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. Oh, oh what the hell? What did he hit me with? I didn't even see the lasers go behind the freaking past the wall or anything. Holy crap. Hey, all right. Good fight, bro. That was looking good for me. <laughs> Back on my favorite map. What's this man running? Okay. Majestic. Hammer. Double LCS. Bro, I'm seeing lots of LCS today too, man. What the heck is going on? It's just an LCS day? <laughs> LCS and Zims today. That's the two weapons of choice. It's all good, bro. I like his paint job, though. Okay. Yep. Gotta watch out for those. Get tore up. And the Majestic, too. All right. He's got, he's got a lot of threats. There's a lot of things I have to look out for. And the Hammer. I forgot about that already. Oh, I got stunned. LCS is going to freaking one-shot me. It's all right. Stun him. Punch him. Bink. There you go. Got solid damage for that shield came out. Not bad, bro. Not bad. Not bad. All right, bro. I'm going to hang back a little bit. And because I haven't done a raw punch yet, we'll do that. Oh, punch him right in the dome piece, bro. Right over the ledge. Hell yeah. Hold this again. Bink. There you go. Oh, man. That was sick. <laughs> Popped his head up, ate a little freaking wooga punch real quick. That was tight. Hell yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. I got to focus, though, because he's got freaking everything on his AC is a huge threat. Freaking take crazy damage. Got that Majestic. Okay. Freaking LCSs, bro. I wonder. I wish I knew exactly when they overheat when you keep shooting in neutral. You know what I mean? Because he seems to be shooting them off cooldown. Okay, all right. Ate that. Dodge the Majestic, though. All right, he messed up his LCS. It's not time to go in. Oh, there you go. Got a nice punch. Not what I was trying to go for. I was trying to use the punch as a punish, but, you know, it works out. Pop this right now. Well, that's up. We'll just tear through that shield as fast as possible. Look at this. Look at this. It's not over. It's not over. Bink. Punch. Got him down. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah, his build is scary, bro. Especially with my freaking light armor. I don't want to get hit by any of that. Hey, good fight, brother. That was a lot of fun. I like that. Pretty cool build. Yeah, porcupine ball wire put in work. I told you guys, bro. It's freaking nasty, man. Dude, I fought I fought all kinds of builds with this thing, bro. I even ran into a neb tank with this thing. And I lost, but it was really close. And I honestly lost because I played like a big dummy. But you know what it is? What it is. But yeah, this thing shreds. You guys saw it, bro. It don't matter if they're heavy or not. It's freaking crazy, dude. But let me go ahead and go over the part choices, right? Explain why I picked what I picked. So, for the head, right? We got the Melanda here. I chose this one because the original head is very kind of like bulky, blocky, and it kind of has like that really reinforced freaking forehead, dome piece, five head, 9,000, you know what I'm saying? So, I figured I'd throw a decal on the Melanda here and kind of mimic it, you know what I'm saying? It could choose the freaking Melanda C3 to do that, but it's got that like little fake mount antenna on the side, so I felt like it didn't really fit. So, Melanda for the win, you know, threw some decals on there, clean up a little bit. I think it looks nice. Right? I'm going for the freaking core now. For as it makes the most sense. The original is super elongated, right? Kind of similar shape. You can see it on the screen and all that. But then also, too, for that front part. Obviously, any other build that's used that core before, I've used this one for that reason. I threw some, you know, little orange decals in the front, try and mimic the, you know, the square freaking shapes in the beginning, or in the front of the core, rather, as best I can. I did consider, where's that? The Orbiter, right? Because it has that little turret on there, but I don't know. It just didn't seem to fit well. It didn't look all that right to me anyway, so... Stick with that for Mez on there. For the arms, I chose the tool arms specifically to try and mimic like the, the angled shoulders, right? Because it kind of got like a little triangle look to the top of the freaking shoulders. I felt like this was the only thing that looked right, obviously. Because, you know, if we go to the VE, way too bulky, not really matching the top thing or whatever. And then also, we kind of got, because obviously the original build's got them weapon arms, right? So you ain't got no freaking sword arms or whatever. I felt like the uh, the tool arms, forearms kind of fit well with the Wooger as well to kind of sell the illusion that we got these sword arms on here, you know what I mean? Now for the legs. I mentioned the beginning of the video, right? I chose for Meza initially, right? I was going for Hal. I just want to say that. I was going for Hal because I didn't want anything where the knees were too pronounced and stuff. 
and the original legs don't look that slim. And also on the how we kind of got these little things hanging on the freaking sides, right? Which the original build does have that. Now, the Fremeza obviously doesn't have the things hanging on the sides, okay? And they are a little bit slim, but the original build is pretty lightweight. But the main reason I chose is because if you look at the Fremeza from the sides and just the overall shape of the Fremeza, right? Especially kind of like the, the no knee kind of look it has. And especially the feet. I feel like that's the closest pick to the original build legs. Obviously, it's not one-to-one, -one, but, you know, some of these aren't going to be one-to-one. -one. They're just different games. You guys know how that goes, but... Yeah, I personally feel like, looking at it from the sides, the Fremeza fits the most, especially with the feet. Obviously, from the front, you know, it's not as clear and concise. Maybe in the shin area, you know, if there's some extra decals on there, you can kind of mimic, like, the little shin freaking things in there, too. But overall... I think the Fremez is the best bet, and it actually works better for the bill when it pilots, like, big time. Like, it makes a huge difference for this type of playstyle, so... Fremez was the pick there for the win. For the weapons, we really need to go over the Wooger. We know, we know why they're there. It looks like the Sword Arms. We ain't got Sword Arms. I'm working with the best I can, and the charge version is technically melee, so, you know, Wooger for life. <laughs> and then the original bill has double Gatlin guns on the back, so we got double Gatlin guns on the back. Pretty, pretty simple explanation for the weapon choice on that one. I feel like these shouldn't be that much negotiable but you know if it is let me know right tell me because you know you guys got some pretty cool ideas and you say hey i would have chose this and i look at it afterwards i'm like damn that's a good point that does make sense <laughs> so i love hearing your freaking interpretations of how you guys build yours too for the boosters yo look at this total weight right 62 350 take a look at these alula freaking ideal weight banga 62 400 we're just under the sun Maximum efficiency. Alula's the only way to go. Look at that speed. 370, 389. Come on, bro. I mean, you can run other boosters too, right? I was tempted to run NGI because my freaking super comfort pick. But, you know, nah, bro. Alula's had to be it. And I'm glad I did too because this build, bro, it just gets in people's face easy. FCS, this, all right? Obviously, the Ab is my favorite, but this was not a comfort pick, okay? I generally felt like I didn't want to go Ocelus. Because I needed some sort of medium range assist for the back Gatlin guns. And honestly, I think the Abbott makes a world of difference, dude. I can't remember what FCS I have on Black Scythe, right? But if I have also on Black Scythe, I'm willing to bet that this Abbott is one of the many reasons why this one outperforms the Merciless build so much. I think it's also just a freaking build thing in general, but my suspicion is the Abbott and then the freaking... The tool arms, dude, honestly, because I think firearm specialization on tool arms is much better than we got 96. It might not be better than freaking the uh Basho. Hold on a second. It is, yeah, it's considerably better. So I think that's another key thing, too. But yeah, so Abbott and freaking tool arms for the win. I think that's the secret sauce with these weapon setups, bro. It's freaking nasty. Generator, obviously, I couldn't equip the VE 20B, otherwise, I would have. So we got the next best thing, VE-20C. It's a bit heavy, but with how fast this build is, I mean, look at the freaking stats, bro. It's still quick, like dumb quick. So this worked out beautifully, and the Wugas are hitting hard, bro, with this generator, even without that 150 freaking specialization, right? For the expansion, pulse armor, bro. I'm too freaking lightweight to be messing around with assault armor, bro. It's kind of overkill, right? If we're going to get close like that, whatever, we already got the freaking the punch in action, the Gatling gun, all that. This build does fine. Just the way it is. This is one of those builds where I'm like, you know, you can try it out and you can mess around with it how you want and change your own stuff out, right? I'd say change the legs more than anything. Everything else, I think, should stay in terms of the arms, the FCS, and Pulse Armor. I feel like that's the way to go with this build. But, you know, that's just my interpretation. Everyone's free to do whatever they want. And, you know, let me know if you do. Because I, I am curious. This build is a ton of fun. This one's kind of, you know, sneaking up as one of my favorites, all right? Now, we'll go over the paint and the decals real quick. Nothing crazy in the decals. I'll show you what I use, but we'll talk about the paint. This was a little tricky, okay? So here's, like, the main... Well, actually, we'll start with the core. Here's, like, the main color scheme on the core, right? Because on my display, it's not just a raw gray, right? To me, I was detecting some hint of, like, yellowish green in there. I know it's, like, you probably look at the screen like, bro, there's no way. How do you even see that? <laughs> But when I started messing around with the kind of like yellowish gray area, I started noticing it started looking more close to the original, especially the legs, right? Show you guys the legs on that one. 95, 97, 91, a reflectiveness of 24. Now, obviously, I think it looks even closer when you drop the reflectiveness down a little bit more, right? Look, make it look a little more matte. But then you run into issues with the decals on the build to get that kind of reddish, purplish, brown look on these accent colors. 
it's very heavily dependent on that specific shade on the reflectiveness on the parts you choose, right? Because usually I can kind of mimic it and then adjust the reflectiveness after the fact, but on this build in particular, the reflectiveness kind of, it made all the difference in the world, right? So for these reds, you kind of got different versions here. You got 56, 37, 37, right? Kind of give you what you need to see on there that's on the feet. Now if you look on the arms, you got 56, 34, 38. Right, because I kind of have to play around the colors to match the reflectiveness for that orange, because the orange accents in this build as well, like that very deep, burnt, freaking reddish orange, is heavily dependent on the reflectiveness as well. So all these colors, the reason why they're so different on different parts is literally for the reflectiveness, you know what I mean? So you got 25 reflectiveness on here, 56, 34, 38 on that freaking purplish look, right? For the orange, we got 101, 52, 30, which is the standard orange I use for the most part. I did have to change some of the decal colors as well to kind of, you know, play nice with all these reflectiveness and stuff. So it might be a headache if you guys try and recreate this one on your own, you know what I mean? If you're not on PlayStation, but we got this color here, 94, 91, 86. That's for the inside. Again, reflectiveness is there just to mess around with the freaking, uh, see how you got that decals on the arms right there? I had to try and match it. So I had to mess around with the reflectiveness as best I could, you know what I mean? So that's why we got that like that. And I'll go over the decals too. This might be a long paint and decal breakdown, but I kind of figure it's worth it, you know what I mean? So for the arms, these were easy, just the weapons, you just match them up, right? 95, 97, 91. You look at the kind of reddish in here, 54, 29, 34. You see all the reflectiveness on these, 18, 24, all that stuff. And then these are just varying degrees of colors that don't matter too much because you can't really see them. So you can kind of mess around with that as you see fit. But just in case you do want to know, 73, 72, 72, 104, 104, 104. No reflectiveness on that one. You know what I mean? If we go to the Gatlin guns real quick. 80, 87, 68 is going to give you that nice, clean-looking OD green. And I got a nice freaking 24 reflectiveness on there. And then the rest is just, if you look at the original, but it's kind of just gray with the tips, a little bit darker gray. So just mess around with the grays as you see fit, like I got on here. You know what I mean? So you got 75, 74, 72 on that, 24 reflectiveness. I'll show you guys the device colors across the board for the weapons. So 1, 14, 53, 15. That's what you got for the device on there. And then... I didn't put a device color on the head because that eye glowing too much kind of made it not look like the head that I was trying to mimic, right? So I got that blacked out for the most part. But for the core, right? Bust this out real quick. 160, 94, 55. And then for the rest of the three can device colors, we got 114, 53, 15, which might be the same color as the oranges that I'm using on the arms and stuff too, which in case I missed out on that, we got 101, 52, 30. So that way you can see that in the arms, that part over there. Now, I'll bust out the decals real quick because I haven't deleted these yet. I did freaking hold on to them this time. And which decals are where, uh, I can't remember exactly, but I can at least show you all the decal colors I used for the build, right? So you got 101 and 5230 over there. That's one of the oranges to mess around with. All right, bust up this one over here. We got 101 45 16. That's another decal color. And these are all the rounded squares, by the way. Same, you know, standard Thrive practice. It's the only decal I really use. Oh, hold on, it's a gradient. Got 79, 28, 6 on that one. Get a more reddish look there. Now, when we get into, like, the purplish areas, I think this is the main one, 56, 37, 37. And then over here we have, what do we got? 60, 30, 17 for that. So those are all the decal colors, right? That's pretty much all I used to work with. I didn't touch that orange. It's from a different build, right? And then I'll show you the decal placements. The head's pretty freaking cut and dry, right? First decal on there was this one right here. See what I'm saying? Give you that freaking look. Try and make it look like that big freaking dome piece in the front. And then the oranges here we have on the sides, right? Can't put it on the side side. Like you can see over here, like the, the next layer, which I wanted to do. Because you just can't decal that area for some reason. So, you know, I kind of had to settle for the way it is. And then the other freaking reds and stuff is over here on the freaking chin area and all that. You know what I mean? It's all simple stuff. Just the squares. You know what I mean? The entire build is like that. If we go over to the core, right, we got some orange decals hidden under there. That's another square stretched out. You got the squares in the front, okay? And no other decals on there because the rest of the purplish red thing is kind of just, you know, a normal color scheme on there. Look at the arms, though, a little more involved. So you got some on here, one on this side, and then one on the other side over there, okay? For the oranges, kind of just putting that orange in that second layer back there, you can kind of see it there, right? Grab a different decal, I'll show you guys some more. Pretty much freaking kept that part again to get around the fact that you don't have as many options with the colors. So just taking squares here and just freaking shoring it up, making sure everything's bent the right way with the freaking with the uh what's it called? What the hell's those things called? Oh, sorry, yeah, X axis, Y axis, all that stuff. And I mean stretching it out. And that's pretty much it for the arms. And then the legs are pretty simple. 
most of almost all the decals honestly on the legs is all in the freaking crotch area bro i don't know why i went so ham on the freaking groin area probably because the rest of the build is so freaking you know detail with colors and the legs are wicked plain so i was like all right if the legs are gonna be super plain and i don't put decals like in these areas we actually see it it's gonna look off you know what i mean so there you go all these freaking decals are pretty much all in the groin area dude like legit and this one, I honestly think this orange is a little bit too light here. But again, playing around with the freaking, um, with the reflectness and everything, it was, it was a hard time. So some of the colors, you can actually probably darken up yourself if you mess around with it. But just before one, you're going to be doing a lot of back and forth, adjusting the colors of your freaking decals, messing with the freaking reflectness or whatever. This should have been like a pretty simple one to do. But because of the two primary colors it uses can only really be truly achieved through like darker reflectiveness it kind of throws off the grays and everything too so a little tricky but not impossible i mean it didn't take too long but longer than i was expecting but yeah man i know i was a bit lengthy going over that one but i felt it was necessary talking about it. if you tried to recreate it otherwise you would have had a headache like i did you know what i mean so that's pretty much it for the calls and decals and that's pretty much it for the video where i got nothing else for you guys if you had a good time as usual please press that like button it's greatly appreciated but if you don't no big deal right because i won't know if you do or don't anyway i have no way of knowing that and even if i did everyone got their reasons all right it's all good help out if you can if not hey it is what it is right so also though consider subscribing consider subscribing because obviously got more recreations coming we got another rage on deck now with sound line still doing armor core two and three right gonna be pushing those out to be a little bit slower since we got to the tail end of those freaking suggestions and all that good good Elden Ring DLC is in progress. Have a ton of fun with that. And we got a new Silent Line playthrough also in progress, which is turned out to be way more fun than I was expecting. I love the older Armor Cores, but I don't know. This Silent Line is, is creeping up there. It might be making it up to my freaking favorite AC list. We'll see what happens. So far, it's pretty good. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. Give it a shot. It's a lot of fun, man. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to get up out of here. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all again real soon, all right? Please take care, everybody. Later.